greetings in this video I'm going to show you how to do a full reinstall reinstallation of any Asus laptop computer so basically you want to put it into the out-of-box state that it was in when you purchased it where it just has Windows 11 Windows 10 or 8 or 7 or whatever operating system you have on it this particular Asus is a gaming laptop but again it'll work with any Asus so I'm going to show you two methods the first method is if you're inside Windows and you want to reinstall Windows from the Windows homepage. Second option I'll show you is to do it from the login screen of Asus, you know, as soon as you turn the computer on. And then the third option I'm going to show you is directly a hard uh, reset when the computer's off and show you how to prompt the to the startup to where you can go into the um, to the BIOS and to uh, the res resetting of the uh, PC. All right, so from here, what you're going to want to do if you're in Windows, go to the bottom left here where you can go to the search and you can type in reset this PC. It'll usually be to the right of the startup, the Windows icon key here. So what you're going to do is type in reset this PC right here. And then from this screen you want to click on open. And then from here it says recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. So click on get started. You have the option to do the cloud or local reinstall. Reinstall Windows from this device. So go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to take you to this screen. Now, this setting here, current settings, it will reinstall Windows with this device, but it will keep your current files. If you want to have it a clean out of box state to like you purchased it do change settings it'll give you the option to go ahead and change that then click next Re ready to reset this PC resetting will change settings keep personal files reinstall windows from this device and remove all apps and programs and then you click reset and it'll start the process it takes usually 40 minutes make sure your Asus is plugged in now if you want to do it from the login screen of Asus it's pretty easy to do so from here what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the shift button SHIFT and some some ACES it might say SHF it's usually in two places of the keyboard while you hold down the shift key you're going to hover over the power key now remember we're on the login screen here where you'd put your password hover where it's got the power click and you might have to click on it and then what you want to do is while holding down the shift key you're going to you're going to click restart and then what that's going to do it's going to prompt you to choose an option and then you know when you're here you're good so what you want to do is go to troubleshoot reset your PC or see advanced option right here click on that and then from here you're going to uh, reset this PC and then this gives you the option like I was tell telling you earlier where you can keep your files or you can just remove everything so this uh, computer is kind of running a little bit sloppy it might be corrupted or a virus so I would would choose remove everything other than and it'll do everything other than the operating system you will have your operating system okay so that's all you have to do now if you want to do a hard reset from startup on Asus laptops you have your computer completely off start it up and then what you're going to do is you're going to click F9 I got it right here highlighted like crazy at startup bam 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 over and over again bam, 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 at startup and so what that's going to do it's going to key and hopefully catch to where it'll take you back to this screen and if it does then you know you're good you might want to try just holding down F9 one time power it off force it down hold down F9 or you might have to try it in a couple of times. If you tried all those methods and it doesn't work, there might be something wrong with your hard drive. It might be corrupted or broken or slow. You might have to just get another. Um, you might just have to get another hard drive to put in there, and then you have to reinstall Windows on that new hard drive. All right. If I help you, make sure you subscribe, and I will talk to you on the next one. Thanks so much.